Hey, this is Gary from 3Bug Media, and today we're going to talk about where you should focus your marketing efforts in 2018. Now, hopefully you spent the beginning of the year preparing, strategizing, and getting your business plans and your marketing plans in place for the year. And today we're going to talk about what I think most small business owners should be focusing on when it comes to their marketing efforts this year. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is building an online marketing funnel or building a marketing funnel in general. For your business now most businesses don't have a marketing funnel in place or they may not even know what it is well an online marketing funnel is basically the method the you know the system that you have to bring a first-time visitor to your website or new business and how do you turn them into a customer for your business now there's a lot of in between there and unfortunately most small business owners don't have that in between it's you know come to my website and contact me or buy something but there's nothing in between but the fact is 99 percent of people that come to your website are not going to buy the first time they're price shopping they're not ready yet the host of reasons why they're not going to buy yet so if you have nothing for that in between then you're going to lose out on 99 percent of your potential customers so when you create an online marketing funnel you create a systematic way of taking these people whether it's an ad or creating content or whatever bringing them to your website through a landing page you know if they don't buy or they don't contact you as a new lead right away how do i get them onto my email marketing list what you know what what kind of value can i give them to get them on my email marketing list and even for the people that don't sign up for me, my email marketing list how can I, you know, how can I get them on my remarketing list? You know, uh, things like that. So it's creating a whole system instead of just running a random Facebook ad or doing Google AdWords or creating a blog, but you don't have a strategy or a plan. Well, what, ha what happens after that? What happens after they come to the website? What happens, you know, to the 99% of the people that aren't going to fill out a form, that aren't going to call you? So building an online marketing funnel helps you to strategize that and put something, put a system in place where you can bring people from a cold visitor to a customer for your business. So we're not going to go into a lot of detail with this, but if you look in the comments, you'll see I have a link where you can sign up for a free, uh, free video course. It's really short. It's like an hour and it shows you all the steps involved with creating your own marketing funnel. Now it sounds like a lot of work. It definitely is a lot more work up front but it'll make your marketing efforts much, much better and it'll help you get a much better ROI for your marketing dollars. Uh, the next one is email marketing. Now, from my experience, most small business owners do not do email marketing right, if they do it at all. So they put everybody on one list, they send out a monthly newsletter, or, you know, a generic newsletter to everyone in hopes, hope people call them and things like that. It doesn't really work. But email marketing provides probably one of the highest ROIs you can have for any of your online marketing channels or any marketing in general, because number one, there's a lot of reasons why you should have it. Number one, you own your list, you own your contact list, you own your customer list. Unlike Facebook, you know, your Facebook fan page, those are Facebook's customers. You can't download them, you can't get their information, you can't, you can't reach them anytime you want unless you're gonna pay Facebook through the nose every single time so you don't own any of your social platforms you don't own those people that platform owns them they can take them away from you anytime by closing your page down on you which they can do without rhyme or reason and you have no recourse with an email list you own it that is your property that is your list nobody can take that away from you so email marketing make a focus on getting your email marketing right and you do that by segmenting your list so instead of putting everyone on one giant list you want to segment them so if you have you know soccer moms you have retirees put them on different lists start separating them on there so you know so when you you know contact one of your segments you're speaking directly to them it'll help you get your email marketing you know into high gear and it'll also help you get a lot better roi from your email marketing. So I always preach this for, you know, I've been doing this for 10 years. For the most part, email marketing, if done right, always beats out social media if you're a small business. Almost always that I've seen. Uh, if you're a bigger brand and you have a huge social media following, that's something different. But for your small local businesses, 
most of the time email marketing is going to give you a much better ROI if you concentrate on it. But unfortunately, most people spend most of their time on social media instead of crafting and refining their email marketing plan. Uh, the next one is content creation. Become a media company. Uh, I got that from Gary Vaynerchuk. Uh, if you don't know who he is, Google him. Great resource for marketing and motivation. But think about your business less as a business and more as a media company. Content creation is marketing today, especially when you were talking about online, online marketing. So it's creating blog content, YouTube videos, creating online courses for your, you know, for your potential customers, maybe even a podcast. It's content creation in general. Think of yourself as a media company because people aren't going to, people want to buy when they're ready to buy and they want to buy when they're interested and when they're educated and when they're learning and when they trust the brand. And you do that by a lot of content creation, a lot of value creation for your business. And over time they start to learn, they start to trust you and they start coming to you as a resource for whatever industry that you're in. And hopefully when they're ready to buy, you will be the one that's top of mind for them. So content creation is super important. You're not going to do all of these. You're not going to do blogging, YouTube courses and podcasts, but pick one or two channels where you, you're comfortable and you know that your cus potential customers will respond to and how you, you'll be able to get that content in front of them and make it a point of trying to create value for your potential customers in 2018. Uh, because if you don't, you're going to be left with this. You're going to be left with online advertising, which is fantastic. Online advertising is great, but it can get very, very expensive if it's the only marketing channel that you have because you have to pay through the nose each and every time you want to get in front of your potential customers. Okay. But why I say it's really good, uh, especially Google AdWords and Facebook ads. Those are the big, the two big giants in online advertising. Why they're great is you can get in front of probably 90, at least 95% of your potential customers between these two platforms. Uh, and it's highly scalable. When you're doing online advertising, when you're doing advertising in general, it's a scalable platform. So even if you, you know, it's not going to be your go-to way to generate business, you should learn how to use it. You should learn how to do it effectively because you can turn it on and off whenever you want and it's highly scalable. When I say highly scalable, most business, a lot of businesses, especially if you're in services, uh, usually tell me, well, referrals are my number one source of leads so i don't really need online advertising things like that well i usually tell them well what happens if your referral sources dry up on you or what happens if you need two new clients next week and you have to get them how are you going to force referrals for your business you can't because you don't have control over those you're relying on other people to send you leads for your business and you can't demand them or make them go out and get you new leads so it's a nice to have it's a great channel to build but it's not a scalable platform. Online advertising is highly scalable. If you can do it right, you can ramp up your budget, you can ramp up you know, your targeting, and you can really scale your business to the next level. So even if you're not going to use it, maybe you don't need it, maybe referrals or other channels are doing enough for you, make it a point of learning how to use these, learn how to use Google AdWords, learn how to use Facebook ads because you never know when you're going to need them. Even if you need them temporarily, you know, maybe one month is slow, you can turn it on and fill that gap. Or if something happens, one of your marketing channels collapses on you and dries up, you can always fall back on this and it's very reliable once you learn how to do it correctly. And lastly, metrics, tracking metrics, because if you're not going to track metrics, all of this stuff is much less effective for your business because you have to be able to learn and improve upon your marketing. That's pretty much all of marketing. It's learning, testing, improving over time. So month after month, year over year, you're gonna get better and better with your marketing. Google Analytics is gonna be probably your backbone for your website. Learn how to use the few, you know, there's thousands of metrics in there, but learn the five or six metrics that matter for your business and make it a point to keep, it, keep an eye on those, okay? Uh, even if you're using uh, online advertising, AdWords, Facebook ads, any kind of online advertising platform is going to have a wealth of information. So whenever you spend money on online advertising, you're always going to know exactly how much you paid, you know, how many people clicked on it. And if you combine it with Google Analytics, you know, you know, if they engaged on your website, if they filled out a form, things like that. 
because this will give you, being able to track and measure will let you improve all of these over time. So you're not gonna hit a home run most likely, especially if you're just starting out on any of these, but over time, when you track and measure and you improve, you'll get better and better over, over time. Okay, so these are the things that I would focus on if I was a small business owner, especially if I'm doing online marketing, build a funnel, email marketing, content creation, become a media company, online advertising, and learn the metrics that matter for your business. So if you wanna learn more, you can go to threebugmedia.com, and thank you very much, and have a great 2018.